Hello and welcome back to Breath Edge. Yes, I know, deja vu. I've been here before. I'm... Um, yeah, after the last frustrations of the last episode. We've got to solve this. So I'm going to leave the space bike here. I'll top my auction up as soon as it's finished charging. Now, when it said about the airlock, I was here, so I'm pretty sure it's got to be here somewhere. I must have missed something last time. I searched here. Oh! Come on. There's an airlock. There's the airlock. Wow. An airlock. Seems to be intact. Seems like the gas coming into the Mayo doesn't let it freeze. And there's an atmosphere. Oh. Well, that was a stroke of luck. I honestly didn't know it was there. Analyze? Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Oh, okay. I have a feeling that something is wrong with this mayonnaise. Apart from the inconsistency of its composition, overly complex technologies are used to transport such biological debris. Although, all the tanks are specified as mayonnaise once in all the invoices related to the liner. Well, that's nice to know, dude. Why they're transporting mayonnaise, I don't know. Goodies. Now we're in. Oh, what's this? This vacuum cleaner is called Rocket for a reason. With it having such a powerful engine, it is really possible to fly it if you bypass some technical limitations. Woohoo! New, new blueprint rocket vacuum cleaner. Brilliant. That means I can produce my own. What it costs to produce it is something else. Nice spanner work, dude. Is there really nothing in here that I can salvage? Apparently not. Okay, let's go to the next one. Place then. Oh. Unbelievable. This is heaven knows what, but it's certainly not a simple tank for storing food products. Well, wow, what's going on here? Oh. Goodies. Nutrition package. Resin. Oh. Oh, I need now some metal. I need lots of metal. You seem to get through lots of metal in this game. And it's so hard to find sometimes. A detailed plan of the transport module. Medium transport module, cool. More rubber. Anything over here worth nicking? I mean, acquiring.
looks like a spacesuit there. Obviously the controls are inside as well, so which way, left or right? Let's go left. Oh, no gravity. much that way. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's resin. Not looking a gift horse in the mouth. Is that where I came from? Oh, it's the other side. There's a door there. Other than that, there doesn't seem to be a lot here. Right, let's go back and go for that door. Back in gravity again. Well. Don't know how I feel about that pulsating like that. Mayonnaise is not mayonnaise, and the tank was an integral part of the systems of the lighter unnamed. We have to start the centrifuge, even just out of scientific interest. Okay, I'm not going to use the console just yet. Oh, medkit. Lovely. I want to make sure we get everything out of this we possibly can. So, presumably, start the centrifuge. Control console, in my presumption, but probably. Interesting. Let's pick all the things up first. patch and a bloated spacesuit indicating increased gas production due to excessive broccoli eating. All this points out that the body belongs to the Green Universe Radical Group. If the possible moral constraints are no problem, this bag of methane, hydrogen, and organic residues can be used to provide initial acceleration to the centrifuge. You only need to figure out how to do it. Uh, consider there's a button on my screen saying ignite. I think I'm pretty sure how to do it. Okay, shall we ignite it? Go on then. Igniter required. Oh, you're joking me. Isn't there igniter? The comrades sub off. Command order stop. Liner unnamed at point 15 and await further instructions. Interesting. Green broccoli. The data analysis on the crash of the liner and the nature of the damage allows us to state with great confidence that the damage caused to the Mayo tanks by the abruptly stopped centrifuge was one of the causes of the liner's depressurization and its ejection from the warp. These data confirm the possible involvement of the green universe in the disaster. Okay, thank you. 
Igniter required. Is there an igniter around here or do I, or does I have to go back and produce an igniter, do I? I still suppose I've missed one somewhere. Doesn't seem to want to do anything at the moment. Uh, so we got to look for a igniter or go back and make one, one or the other. Oh, well, I've been around here several times. It doesn't seem to be anything. an igniter. That's my guess. Perhaps we should have, well, I don't know. Perhaps it should have with me, but I did. So there you go. Where does that go? Can't seem to get down there. Okay, you know what we got to do now. Well, at least hopefully we know what we're supposed to be doing now. I'll just find my way out of here. Woohoo! Ah, there's the space bike. No, I'm not going to spend the time just right at this moment. Right, we need to get the second lighter. Back we go. Find something on the way back would be really, really good. I think we've been there already. Yes, this will find the paint, doesn't it? Once again, metal is really scarce. What is it? Oh, what are you? Lead? Lead plate, lead paint, lead plate. I don't want to spend too long here to get back and make this igniter. Let's 
take that. Right, let's get back. Ow, what did I hit my head on that one? Fair enough. Just in time. Just in time. Now, did I have an ignite here? That's an inductor. Inductor. So what does ignite look like? So an inductor, two batteries and two aluminium. That's ice. That's good. Don't want well ice would be good, but don't want really the good. What I need is metal again. It's the bane of my playthrough is metal. That's titanium, that's a shame. I was hoping that was metal. I'm going to start heading back towards the base. Do I have an oxygen can on me, but I don't really want to use it. Come on, come on, bike. Come on, come on, come on. Stop. the batteries. Right, we can make our igniter. Which means we can hopefully go back and fit it. It's quite a complex device for burning fuel inside a small engine. It's only used the backup engines. We've seen that message before, haven't we? Right, back here again. Right, so that's the console, we got to push the button. It takes a lot of skill to push the button. This 
Despite the fact that the task involves pumping out gas to create a miniature engine with an igniter, your barbaric method of directly lighting your rear end is recognized as effective. It's time to check the control panel. Your incredible dexterity, together with incredible luck and incredibly lean strength, works wonders. In any case, there's a decrease in the core's activity. If nothing explodes there in the next couple of minutes, then the task can be considered completed. Woohoo! I can't say for sure, but apparently it was a backup power cell of the newest nuclear warp installation in the core of the liner. What we have seen is one of the most protected government secrets, and the presence of a Green Universe Radical there confirms their involvement in the catastrophe. Nice. Okay. What do we need to find metal? What are you? Oh, you're a coffin. Well, we finally achieved it. Wow. Oh, metal. He gave me a brilliant idea how to enhance the handy scrapper. Cool. I'll get to that in a minute too. Infinity Warrior. Infinite handy scrapper. Cool. Auction candles. Cool. Metal. I'd rather get the metal now. What happened to that metal? There's a big piece of There it is. Any more metal? Yes, I know, but I just picked up a couple of auction candles, so I'm feeling quite happy about that. But I am going to let it run right down. Anything else here worth having? There we go. Oh, battery. Cool. Time to head back. That's a little bit of metal on us, so it's not too bad. Uh, I think I'm quite a bit successful today, personally. I'm relatively happy with that after the frustrations of last time. Back. So, as I return back to the base to consider what to do next, I'm going to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, 